Queensland is a classical piece of Australian architectural design. It was a certain vernacular that came out of the Europeans when they moved here and they settled. What it was, was essentially a corrugated iron roof, big verandas around the outside, relieved you from the hot sun. It also then relieved you from the great big storms in the afternoon. It was raised on stilts, which provided airflow underneath. What we've seen as time has gone on is the evolution of that past. The design process was dumbed down, the building materials became very bland and simple. Great architecture responds to our climate in what is a subtropical climate, so we need to account for that. We're hot, we're windy, we've got storms. We need to make sure that we can use airflow. We need to make sure that everything flows. We need a response to the landscape that integrates it. So how do we get form and function to work together cohesively? And what great architects nail is they provide essentially an emotional response. So the house we're about to see is probably one of the best houses I've seen in Brisbane and it gives you that emotional response. Sometimes highly architectural houses can make you feel like you have to be very neat and tidy, you have to live a certain way. But when the intention and the design of the property lends to that of a family, what you find is you don't feel like that. You feel like you can live in the space, you can move in the space, you can breathe in the space. What this family has created here is a house that will skip through generations. You can start with children up to teenagers, and either way, there's room for everyone. Both boundaries, the living, kitchen and dining area, have these beautiful joinery doors. So these push all the way back. I think with Sean Lockyer Homes, they're a very bold design and architecture, and sometimes that can be a little bit overwhelming. I think this house, because of the scale of it, is incredibly beautiful, and the colour palette and the actual material palette is, is really quite simple. You've essentially got timber, glass and concrete, and the way that these all work in unison around this massive lawn is absolutely stunning. What I really enjoy about this house is that from the outside, when you arrive at the property, there's a real structure about it. Like it's actually quite solid, quite daunting, quite uh, it's tall. And then the experience as you actually enter the house and you walk up the stairs, I thought that was probably the most beautiful part of it because you don't really expect to walk up the stairs and then into the yard. No, it's quite no. Wonderful. No, and I, I think, you know, one of the, the, the many things that is so special about this house to me, and this is a very, very special house to me, this particular home is in the suburb where I live, which is Baden. Your favourite uh, suburb? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I jokingly call it God's country, but it's not even a joke. I mean, we, we're sitting here in, you know, country lifestyle, and it took me 13 minutes to drive here from office in Newstead. We've designed houses in almost every suburb in Brisbane, and I can't think of an instance when in the inner city there's a 4,000 square metre block. In terms of the actual layout of the house, when you are considering designing it, this has a city view, but the house isn't actually orientated towards the city. Can you talk us through the planning of it? The design isn't constrained by setbacks or neighbours or even privacy in this instance. So. What we've been able to do is, is essentially stretch the house out so that the long axis of the house faces northeast. And then in the core living spaces, we've just been able to dissolve those walls. So essentially you're living in a pavilion that has this lovely north-south orientation. And I think the nature of this place was that we really wanted to create a kind of country lifestyle really within the bounds of the city. This is a big house under roof. I mean, we're what, nearly 1,200 square meters under, under roof. It doesn't feel overwhelmingly large and if you were here just as a couple, this would still be a very comfortable, intimate house to live in, wouldn't it? The size of the houses that we design are a function of how people want to use them rather than spaces just getting big for the sake of getting big. So when we have bigger homes, it's usually as a function of the fact that, like in this house, you've got multiple cars, you've got gyms, you've got guest accommodation, you've got a choice of living spaces. But the scale of those spaces are still very human spaces because ultimately it doesn't matter how big a house is, you don't want rooms to be at a level that you can't actually engage with people and actually enjoy them. So by, by virtue of the way that the house is actually zoned, overwhelmingly the house feels you know, commensurate with other homes that feel comfortable in scale, but then you've got the benefit of being able to spread your wings into other rooms if your family's bigger, if you've got guests. In this house, for example, there are a number of living spaces, the one behind the kitchen, that lends itself very much to young kids being close to mom or dad, 
on a day-to-day -day basis without sort of filling the main living space with all the sort of paraphernalia of young kids and stuff. And because of the way the house is actually designed, essentially your experience of it is predominantly a single-storey house, which is mm. something a lot of people aspire to. Yes, when you arrive, it's a three-storey house, but that's really to deal with the level change and the topography, hide the cars away. And then really it's a single-storey house with so the main bedroom suite sort of elevated to take advantage of those beautiful views and to give the parents a sense of privacy. The privilege of a house like this is that people are going to occupy it in different ways, and I think all of those ways are valid and viable. I guess the thing about having this much lawn is that you could be staying in the kitchen, your kids can be playing soccer, they can be in the pool, or the rumpus area, which is on the children's wing, are all visible from the living area. The way that this works as a family home is absolutely second to none. Thank you so much for actually coming to, to talk to us about this house because it is such a special property and congratulations. I honestly, hand on heart, believe this is one of Brisbane's best houses. The palette, everything about this house, I absolutely, absolutely adore. This home really does represent, in my own opinion of our own work, the very best of what can be done with a brief and we're enormously proud of the house. We're enormously grateful to have had the opportunity to, to design it. And it's a thrill for us to be a part of a campaign like this because really we could not be more excited about it going to market. We'd love people to see the home and whoever does land up buying it is going to be a very, very lucky person indeed. So thank you very much for getting us involved.